everybody this is city readings and hi gemini let's see what messages are going to show up for you in case this reading resonates there will be a link in the description box to the extended and in the extended we will see how's your person thinking and feeling about you their next moves outcome of ice love notes guidance from spirit and your future love so do check it out it will be linked below for you guys okay so let's see what do we have for gemini Ooh, look at this at the split of the deck what do we have for you we have door to romance and we also have happy family i feel like some of you have recently walked away from a relationship or maybe there was divorce I feel like there was, or maybe there was some sort of legal legal thing that was going on, but recently you've walked away from something to find your happiness. And if it was a relationship, then I definitely feel like Gemini, you're gonna be like, new doors are gonna be opening for you. That is nice. Let's see. Show me what I need to see for Gemini. <laughs> this is the second time we're seeing the same card. So it is a sign. I want you to hit the like button, Gemini, and claim this message. Claim that love and abundance will come to me now. Okay, this is number 33, which is a master number of manifestation and a lot of good stuff um so we already have your cards out and your cards are flying out today so we have the card of victory which is number 28 any of these could also be like it could be your age which is 28 39 50 and 33 or it could be your birthday life pod number two three five and nine okay so i feel like for a lot of you here um gemini you've been holding back from something that really tests your patience um i'm also getting here that there's going to be a lot of improvement in your communication or if your work is related to communication like you speak for a living or you're on social media or maybe you you're going to be pitching an idea and gemini's are really good with communication anyway so i feel like that is going to be enhanced with the angel of strength and fifth chakra which is throat chakra energy um i also feel like some of you want to take care of your throat you may get a sore throat so be careful um you know um i'm here i'm hearing drink more um like hot fluids okay and i'm also getting this energy here of i feel like your spirit guide is with you and there's there's something here about this lion um that could be your spirit animal or maybe you're seeing lions or maybe there's something about a dream but it represents strength courage and i really like this energy some of you may have leo placements but i feel like what you've been holding on to and you've been showing a lot of patience and perseverance towards i really think that it's going to pay off for you and it's going to pay off in a very beautiful way you also have this card of victory so i feel like there's success and victory coming your way but there's also a need for you to express yourself and not hold back from expressing yourself even okay um so let's see what's going to show up for you in tarot okay so also if you have a question on your mind we will see what is the answer to that question towards the end of this reading so stick around until the end for that show me what tarot messages want to come through for gemini
So we have the devil and the ten of swords. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Something toxic is coming to an end here. Something that was confining you or you felt like you had little to no control over it. This is a situation that also brought in a lot of anxiety and stress for you. And that is coming to an end. Okay, um, Gemini. I feel like some of you have also recognized or you've started to recognize that there are certain things that are just like point blank, period. They're toxic and I need to release those things from my energy. Um, something really painful and tough. Some of you maybe have gone through something painful in your childhood um, and that has also impacted your life always. It does, you know. But I'm and I'm really sorry if, if something like that happened. Maybe some of you grew up in, a, in an abusive environment. I don't know. But I do feel like you're in this energy of recognizing toxic patterns and letting go of what no longer serves you. Some of you could also be eating healthy or you, you're maybe wanting to quit bad habits. Everybody has different bad habits, okay? So maybe smoking, drinking, things like that. And I feel like you're kind of being very clear about where you want to be. Exactly. I just said the Ace of Swords energy showed up. We also have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like for a lot of you, Gemini, I see options and I see um, I see new opportunities are going to be coming your way. Seven of Cups is a card of opportunities, options, and um, just a lot in front of, you know, somebody has a lot in front of them. Um but you may not be seeking them. So I like this energy because there's um, a new beginning, clarity of mind, okay? There could also be some sort of communication or a news is going to come up for you and it's gonna really pay off, okay? It's gonna really pay off. Show me what I need to see for Gemini. I feel like some of you could be learning something new these days or you could be researching about something these days because it does look like there's some something on your mind continuously okay and you're really you know in this energy of holding on to your standards your value some of you i also see you saving money or you're looking into how you can invest your money or how to make more money okay so I feel like sometimes you hate it how much you overthink things and you know that that need to know things sometimes you feel like you know I just want to leave that feeling behind um, one more thing that I'm gonna tell you can be a challenge is when you go back and try to dig things up that you know you've already like they're in the past so don't overly do that because it's, it's gonna be detrimental for you okay um, some of you are saving money or very held back with your energy in order to invest somewhere else. That is something I do see as well. Your outcome here is the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Wands. Oh my goodness, all court cards are here. And by the way, court cards in readings do represent people. So I feel like there could be more than one person involved in in the situation or you could have options in love i also feel like as you're going to be getting in touch with your sense of creativity gemini you're going to see that things are going to shift for you for good but i'm also getting here this energy of um where's that with the seven of cups here that can also represent options in love so i do feel like there's a lot of good stuff coming up for you um, some of it you expect, some of it you don't. But as far as your outcome is concerned, they're showing me a divine counterpart, King and the Queen of Wands. Both are very protective, passionate, um, ambitious. Okay, so it's a it's it's good. Some of you are going to be finding a match here. Some of you are going to be finding a person who you're going to really vibe with. And because you're getting the door to romance, it could probably be a new connection. Okay, um, you guys are on the same page is what I see and your energy is going to match really, really well. So love is going to come in when you least expect it, Gemini. What is the challenge for Gemini and their advice? 
Your challenge here is Ten of Coins, something that has to do with your sense of stability, maybe even your money. Uh, you may feel like you're not where you want to be or you want to improve on your money. Some of you want to get your own home or like something here about stability. So stable investments, maybe that is real estate, whatever it is, you know, you want that and you want to build that for yourself or you want that sense of stability in your life that you feel like is missing. Some of you may just simply be missing that that relationship is not in your life, everything else is. So whatever stability means to you, you feel like that is just not there. Okay, but is it really or is it what you're thinking? What is the advice for them? Ten of Cups, ooh. So you're getting, okay, so you're getting a lot of relationship cards here. You're getting the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands, uh, sorry, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, King and the Queen of Wands, Door to Romance, Victory. So I do feel like Spirit here is telling you to be happy and content with what you have around you. Maybe spend some time with your family or your loved ones, your kids. Um, you know doing things that bring you joy also you know maybe if there's something creative that you really like to do get it get into that energy more because the more you're gonna do it the more you, you know it's gonna help you your advice just here has something to do with finding your sense of happiness and balance Okay. Give me one more card. Death card. And it's not always a bad card, okay? Death card is not something bad. Um, it is transformation, endings, and new beginnings. A new chapter, perhaps, of your life. And we see snakes here, but we also see a rose. So I feel like it's all leading you towards a very beautiful place um gemini you're gonna really enjoy yourself okay i feel like um there's this energy of rebirth as well and snakes you know shed their skin so it's it's almost like out with the old um in with the new kind of an energy i really loved this reading it was full of a lot of different things so the extended about your person is going to be linked in the description box gemini we will see how are they feeling towards you what do they want to say to you or where are their, where is the relationship going what you can expect um for singles is there some somebody showing up then i'm going to clarify for your uh, general life messages like your career and everything else okay so do check out the extended as well where i continue this reading Okay, I kind of flipped some cards. Okay, now think of your question and we will see what is the answer to that question, Gemini. And before I pull your card, I want you to hit the like button and it really helps the reading, okay? Choose a new direction. That is your answer. So some of you have been feeling stuck. You've been feeling like, oh, this is like a dead end situation for me. And Spirit is telling you to choose a new direction. And as you do that, you know, more opportunities are going to come to you. I just said that. Opportunity. It's, it's almost like um, blessings are going to be showered upon you the situation will improve. So whatever is on your mind, it is going to get better, but you do need to change your direction or you do need to change something. Um, maybe how you're approaching the situation, maybe what you can do about it. There is a need for you to change and the situation is going to improve. So that's about it. Gemini, those were the messages that I showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link in the description box below if you are interested. Take care, Gemini, and bye-bye.